Hello everyone and welcome to LRDI Master Series powered by Kochify. This is your mentor Mohit. Today is day 11. Here we are with another puzzle. This puzzle is from CAT 2023 DLR section slot 1. This was set 4. This was one of the good sets last year. We'll definitely learn a lot but for that you have to watch the video till the end. So let's begin our puzzle. So as we do every time, first you take a screenshot and try it then you watch my solution. So I'll quickly explain this puzzle to you. We are provided with a block diagram of 12 houses, 6 in block XX, remaining 6 in block YY, right? So there are two rows, row 1 and row 2, and there are 6 columns from A to F. Now there are two roads, one is this one, the other one is this one. With this comes road adjacency value, you have to understand this. What is this road adjacency value? So it says that number of house sites adjacent to a road. So if you talk about C2, how many house sites or how many its sites are adjacent to a road? So one is this one, adjacent to this one. Other one is this side, which is adjacent to this road. So for C2, road adjacency value is 2. Likewise for C1, it is 1 because only one side is adjacent to this road. For B1, it is 0 because there is no road adjacent to its any of the sites. Same is for A1. Right. For A2 and B2, road adjacency value is 1. Same for this block. Right. This is something that we have to understand. Next is neighbor count. So you have to understand these two terms. Next is neighbor count. What is neighbor count? So it says that number of sites adjacent to occupied houses in the same block. Right. So if we talk about B2, what can be its maximum neighbor count? Its maximum neighbor count can be 3. Why? Because this house can be occupied, C2 can be occupied, B1 can be occupied and A2 can be occupied and all three are its neighbors, right? So the neighbor count is nothing but actually out of the houses all which are neighbors, how many houses are occupied? That's what exactly is neighbor count. So you have to understand these two terms very carefully, right? Now it says that quoted price. So for quoted price, we have to understand one more term which is base price. How we are calculating this base price? So this base price depends upon whether that house is having parking facility or not. If the house is provided with a parking facility, then the base price will be 12 lakhs. If it is not, then the base price will be 10 lakhs. So now there is a result called quoted price. This result is nothing but equals to base price plus five times of road adjacency value. I'll call, call it as RA value and three times of neighbor count which is nc right so now we are provided some with some additional information we'll have to use it and we'll have to solve this puzzle so this is my interpretation from the puzzle i have mentioned it here in the short form right so now we have to think with which piece of information we should begin solving this puzzle so we are provided with the first point it says that maximum quoted price in block xx is rupees 24 lakhs Minimum quoted price in block YY is rupees 15 lakhs with one such house in column E. I think I should start with maximum quoted price in block XX is rupees 24 lakhs. So I have to find out which is that house which is having the maximum quoted price and which is equals to 24 lakhs. So I, I think I should begin my puzzle with that, right? So what are the houses that I'm having? A1, A2, B1, B2, C1, C2, right? Let's begin. Now, for all these houses, the base price can be either 10 lakhs or 12 lakhs because I am not provided with whether these houses are having parking facility or not, right? So I have to take both of these values. It can have either 10 lakhs or 12 lakhs. Same for this one, same for this one, same for B2, C1 and C2, right? Now, three times of, five times of road adjacency value. So what is the road adjacency value for A1? So what I've done, I have mentioned the RA values of all the houses in the pink color and I have mentioned the maximum neighbor count for each and every house in this color, right? So you can see these two values, right? So now the RA value for A1 is 0 and maximum possible neighbor count for A1 is 2, right? So this is 3 into 2 which is 6. So 6 plus 10 will be 16. 6 plus 12 will be 18. So it cannot have 24 in any of the situation. This is ruled out. Let's talk about A2 again. So 5 times of its RA value, it's 1. 3 times of its neighbor count, it is 2. 
So this is 6 plus 5, 11. 11 and 10, if we take it as 10, 11 plus 10 will be 21. 11 plus 12 will be 23. So it cannot be 24. This is also ruled out, right? Let's talk about uh, B1 and B2 now. So B1. Base price is either 10 lakhs or 12 lakhs, right? It can be either 10 lakhs or 12 lakhs. Five times of RA value. What is the RA value for B1? It is zero. And three times of neighbor count, which is nine. So 10 plus nine will be 19 or 12 plus nine will be 21, right? So in any of the case, it is not reaching to the maximum value, which is 24 lakhs eliminated. Let's talk about B2. So this is five times of RA value, which is one and three times of maximum neighbor count which is 3. So this is 9, 9 and 5 is 14, 14 and 10 becomes 24, yes it becomes 24, 14 and 12 it crosses 24 right, so this is one possibility so far, B2 is that house, it is a possibility that it is the house with maximum quoted price in block XX which is rupees 24 lakhs right. Let's talk about C1. So for C1 base price can be taken as 10 lakhs or 12 lakhs again, we have discussed it already right plus five times of its RA value, which is one and three times of neighbor count, which is three into two, six, six and five, 11. Again, 11 plus 10 will be either 21 or 11 plus 12 will be 23. So this is also ruled out. Let's talk about C2. So base price can be 10 or 12. Now five times of uh, RA value, which is two and three times of neighbor count, which is two. So 10, and 6, 16, 16 and 10 is 26, 16 and 12 is 28. So this is also ruled out. So we got our house, right, which is having the maximum quoted price. And to make that price maximum, the base value was taken as uh, 10 lakhs, right? So we got the information from first, uh, uh, you know, point, right? So we can say that B2, the base price for B2 is 10 lakhs, we can say that, right? Also, the neighbor count is 3 because then only we got, right, this price. So the neighbor count is 3, RA value is 1, right? So neighbor count is 3 means this house is occupied, this house is occupied and this house is also occupied, right? This house is not occupied, right? Now, it says that in row one so one point is mentioned here in row one exactly we have two occupied houses one in each block so we got our house in block xx in row one which is occupied that means this is not occupied this is also not occupied right so we got this information uh, from the very first point right so with this information we are able to answer our very first question how many houses are vacant in block xx so there are exactly three houses that are vacant in block XX. Correct answer for the question is three. So this part we have used, right? Okay. <clears throat> Let's look at question number two first. It says that which of the following houses are definitely occupied, right? So A1 is not occupied, which means D option is ruled out, right? And then B2 is also not occupied, which means B, uh, B option is also ruled out, right? So we are left out with A and C option. That means we have to start solving it for block YY, right? Now we are provided with one more clue. It says that minimum quoted price in block YY is rupees 15 lakhs with one such house is in column E. So what are you saying? In block YY, mein Minimum quoted price जिस भी house की है वो कितनी है 15 lakhs है और ऐसा एक house आपके column E में exist करता है right You do one thing you club this point with third one Now it says that both houses in column E are vacant This is also vacant and this is also vacant So both the houses in column E are vacant Now columns D and F have at least one occupant house each Okay अब आप एक चीज देखिए कि अगर ये हाउस आपका वेकेंट है तो क्या D1 की नेबर काउंट वैल्यू टू हो सकती है राइट इट कैन नॉट राइट इट कैन नॉट सो द मैक्सिमम पॉसिबल नेबर काउंट वैल्यू फॉर D1 इज 1 इट कैन बी 1 राइट लाइकवाइज फॉर D2 द मैक्सिमम नेबर काउंट वैल्यू कैन बी 1 
Likewise, for F1, the maximum neighbor count value can be 1 and for F2 also the maximum neighbor count value can be 1. What is this neighbor count? We have already discussed. So, if you have an unoccupied agar house which is sale available, then in the surrounding house, neighbors who are in the house, occupied neighbors are in the house, what do we call them? Neighbor count. Bol karke chal rahe, right? So, since this is not occupied, that means D1 ka maximum neighbor count kya ho sakta hai? Ye ho sakta hai, to value 1 ho sakti hai. Same is for D2 because this is not occupied. This, agar ye occupied hai, to iska maximum neighbor count 1 ho jayega. Same is for F1 and F2. I think yahan tak ki information aapko clear hai. Okay, so in the same way, can E1 and E2 have their neighbor count value as 3? No. Why no? Because humne ek point padha ki First row में exactly दो ही occupied houses हैं और एक-एक दोनों blocks में present है, right? Block XX का हमने figure out कर लिया, यानी D1 और F1 में से exactly एक ही house ऐसा है जो कि occupied है, right? तो अगर D1 occupied होगा तो ये occupied नहीं होगा, right? अगर F1 occupied होगा तो D1 occupied नहीं होगा, यानी दोनों ही situations में E1 की जो maximum neighbor count की value आ सकती है, वो है uh, exactly one, right? क्यों? क्योंकि ये भी occupied नहीं है, इन दोनों में से कोई एक होगा, तो maximum possible neighbor count for E1 is 1, right? ये चीज़ आपको समझ में आती होगी. Now we'll use this information point and solve it further. It says that minimum quoted price in block YY is rupees 15 lakhs with one such house in column E. We'll definitely check it for E. But firstly, let's figure out what can be the minimum value of neighbor count for E2. आप एक चीज़ समझो, D1 and F1 में से कोई exactly एक तो occupied है? अच्छा. अब आपने एक बात और बोली कि कॉलम डी एंड एफ में एटलीस्ट एक हाउस ऐसा होगा जो कि ऑक्युपाइड होगा तो अगर मान लीजिए कॉलम डी के अंदर डी1 ऑक्युपाइड है नाउ यू आर लेफ्ट आउट विद टू पॉसिबिलिटी राइट एफ1 कैन नॉट बी ऑक्युपाइड सो डी2 भी ऑक्युपाइड हो सकता है उसके साथ में एफ2 भी ऑक्युपाइड हो सकता है या फिर डी2 नहीं ऑक्युपाइड होकर के एफ2 हो सकता है राइट ये एक पॉसिबिलिटी है सेम एफ1 ऑक्युपाइड हो सकता है तो उसके साथ में एफ2 भी ऑक्युपाइड हो सकता है राइट और उसके साथ में डी2 ऑक्युपाइड हो सकता है नहीं भी हो सकता है D1 नहीं होगा ये भी एक पॉसिबिलिटी है तो यहां से हमें एक चीज समझ में आई कि E2 के लिए मिनिमम नेबर काउंट की जो वैल्यू रहेगी वो 1 तो रहेगी ही रहेगी इट कैन नॉट बी लेस देन 1 राइट क्योंकि इन दोनों में से कोई एक हाउस जो है वो तो ऑक्युपाइड होगा ही होगा अदरवाइज वी कैन नॉट फुलफिल द क्राइटेरिया गिवन इन द क्वेश्चन राइट ये चीज हमें समझ में आनी चाहिए ओके नाउ लेट्स ट्राई एंड फिगर आउट द मिनिमम कोटेड प्राइस हाउस इन कॉलम E सो लेट्स टॉक अबाउट E1 एंड E2 I am not provided with their base price, so it can be either 10 or 12. 5 times of its road adjacency value, which is 0. 3 times of its neighbor count, so its neighbor count uh, can be only 1, right? So uh, this is 0. So 10 plus 3 will be 13. 12 plus 3 will be 15, right? So I am getting a situation where I can find out my quoted price as 15. For that, the base price for E1 should be 12. And this is free, right? So, this is a possibility. So, this is 12. Ho jayega, baat ban rahi hai. Let's check it for E2 also. Base price can be 10 or 12 plus 5 times of RA value, which is 1, 3 times of your neighbor count, which minimum value, leke chalte ek bar, which is 1, right? So, 5 and 3. 8, अगर आप इसको 10 भी लेते हो, तो this becomes your 18, यानी ये 15 को cross कर गया, यानी in no situation this can give you 15. So, column E में कौन सा house है, जिसकी minimum quoted price है, वो आपने figure out कर लिया, this is your E1. तो ये हमने figure out कर लिया, कि column E में जो house, जिसकी minimum quoted price 15 lakhs है, वो E1 है, और this is the only house in this entire block, जिसमें parking facility available है. Now, इस ब्लॉक की मिनिमम कोटेड प्राइस जो है वो कितनी है 15 लाख यानी कोई भी हाउस जो सेल के लिए अवेलेबल है उसकी प्राइस 15 लाख से नीचे नहीं हो सकती है नाउ लेट्स चेक इट फॉर F1 लेट्स अज्यूम कि ये खाली है और ये सेल के लिए अवेलेबल है तो इसकी जो प्राइस निकल के आती है वो क्या आ रही है लेट्स चेक इट सो फॉर F1 बेस प्राइस विल बी 10 पार्किंग फैसिलिटी नहीं है 5 टाइम्स ऑफ आरए वैल्यू व्हिच इज 0 सो दिस इज 0 3 टाइम्स ऑफ नेबर काउंट दिस इज 1 सो दिस इज 3 so, its price nikal ke aati hai, wo aati hai 13 lakhs, which is less than 15, which is not possible, right? Yani, F1 is not available for sale. If F1 is not available for sale, that means F1 is occupied. This is occupied. Now, there was a point that row 1 mein exactly two houses occupied in one block XX and one block YY. Mein. 
सो ब्लॉक वाई वाई में एफ वन अगर ऑक्यूपाइड है तो डी वन ऑक्यूपाइड नहीं होगा दिस विल बी वेकेंट फॉर सेल अगर डी वन ऑक्यूपाइड नहीं होगा तो हमने एक पॉइंट और पढ़ा कि कॉलम डी एंड एफ में एटलीस्ट एक हाउस तो ऐसा है जो कि ऑक्यूपाइड है तो यानी डी टू जो होगा वो ऑक्यूपाइड होगा राइट right? ये चीज हमें समझ में आई वॉट अबाउट एफ टू सो विल कम टू एफ टू लेटर विद दिस इन्फॉर्मेशन आई थिंक वी आर एबल टू सॉल्व आर क्वेश्चन नंबर टू क्वेश्चन नंबर टू से विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग हाउसेज आर डेफिनेटली ऑक्यूपाइड सो डी टू इज डेफिनेटली ऑक्यूपाइड एंड बी वन इज ऑल्सो डेफिनेटली ऑक्यूपाइड करेक्ट आंसर इज योर सी ऑप्शन सो ये हमने पूरा सॉल्व किया अबाउट एफ टू वी कैनॉट कमेंट कि क्या ये ऑक्यूपाइड है नहीं दिस वी कैनॉट कमेंट राइट नाउ लेट्स लुक एट क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग ऑप्शन बेस्ट डिस्क्राइब्स द नंबर ऑफ वेकेंट हाउसेज इन रो टू सो रो टू की अगर हम बात करें ये तो वेकेंट है ही ये भी वेकेंट है तो यानी दो तो है ही है राइट right? अब ये हो भी सकता है नहीं भी हो सकता तो अगर ये वेकेंट होगा तो थ्री हो जाएंगे नहीं होगा तो फिर टू है तो यानी आंसर होना चाहिए इधर टू और थ्री करेक्ट आंसर इज बी ऑप्शन ओके नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन व्हाट इज द मैक्सिमम पॉसिबल कोटेड प्राइस फॉर ए वेकेंट हाउस इन कॉलम ई सो कॉलम ई में ई के लिए जो कोटेड प्राइस है उसकी वैल्यू तो हमने फिगर आउट कर ली इट इज फिफ्टीन लैक्स राइट ये तो मिनिमम प्राइस है ई के लिए मैक्सिमम हो सकती है वो कितनी हो सकती है लेट सेकेंड तो अगर उसको मैक्सिमम बनाना है तो आर ए वैल्यू को चेंज नहीं कर सकते बेस प्राइस को भी चेंज नहीं कर सकते क्योंकि इसमें पार्किंग फैसिलिटी नहीं है राइट right? तो यानी अब जो चीज आप चेंज कर सकते हो वो केवल नेबर काउंट है इसको मैक्सिमम करो ताकि मैक्सिमम प्राइस आए तो मैक्सिमम कितना कर सकते हो ये तो ऑक्यूपाइड है इसको भी ऑक्यूपाइड करवा दो राइट right? तो नेबर काउंट कितना हो जाएगा टू नाउ इफ यू फिगर आउट द कोटेड प्राइस फॉर ई इट इज कमिंग आउट एस टेन विच इज बेस प्राइस प्लस फाइव टाइम्स ऑफ आर ए वैल्यू विच इज वन प्लस थ्री टाइम्स ऑफ इट्स नेबर काउंट विच इज टू so this is your सिक्स and फाइव इलेवन and टेन ट्वेंटी वन दैट इज द मैक्सिमम पॉसिबल कॉटेड प्राइज फॉर ए वेकेंट हाउस इन कॉलम ई लास्ट क्वेश्चन विच हाउस इन ब्लॉक वाई वाई हैज पार्किंग स्पेस सो ब्लॉक वाई वाई में एग्जैक्टली एक ही हाउस है जिसमें पार्किंग स्पेस है वो हमने फिगर आउट किया ऑलरेडी विच इज योर ई वन सो करेक्ट आंसर फॉर द क्वेश्चन इज डी ऑप्शन so this was your day इलेवन the puzzle was housing complex I hope you have enjoyed this solution If you like the video please do like share and subscribe this channel for more videos stay tuned stay connected keep solving keep learning keep growing milte hain next video mein